Hello everyone, welcome to day 11th of December Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time over this weekend. Without much ado, let's quickly understand today's question. Today's question is nth magical number. Here we are given three integers n, a and b. We need to identify the nth magical number in the given sequence and how do we draw the sequence? Uh, it could be any number, a, a number said to be a magical number if it is divisible either by A or B or both. So we need to generate that series up and in the increasing order, in the ascending order and we need to tell the nth element in that series. So let's try and take one example. Here in example 2 we are given N as 4. That means we need to tell the fourth element in the series. A is given to us as 2, B is given to us as 3. So if I create the series, how will it look like? The first element will be 2, the second element will be 3, the third element will be 4, the fourth element will be 6, the fifth element would be uh, 8 and the seventh element would be 9 and so on. We need to create the series up and whatever element we are looking for out of this series, we can we need to return that. For example, here we are looking for the fourth element. That means we need to return 6 as the answer. Now let's quickly try and understand the algorithm behind it by the presentation. So let's quickly move on to the PPT. For better understanding, we need to go to the grassroots level to absolute mathematics. And let's take a hypothetical scenario. We are given an integer X. We are given an integer N. We need to tell how many factors of N exist up till X. How do we do that? We go and identify uh, whether x is divisible by n or not if it is divisible then what is the factor count for example here n is given to us as 3 x is given to us as 14 we divide x by 3 14 by 3 gives gets us 4 and that simply signifies that there are 4 factors up till 14 of quotient of divisor 3 so we get this information now let's update and extend this information to a case where we are given two integers n1 and n2. Let's hypothetically assume that there is a value of x that is given to us as 25. There is the value of n1 that is given to us as 3. The value of n2 that is given to us as 4. So let's go and create the series of all the factors of 3 up till x that is 25. And how do we do that? Again, let's extend this approach. We divide x by n1. We get 8. There would be 8 elements. 25 by 3 is 8 and we can write the series up 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Let's do the same thing for n2 as well. 25 by 4 is 6. So we go and create the series as 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24. However, what do you see? You see there that there are few integers that are repeated in both the series. The first one is 12. The second one is 24. And if I want to generate a common series of all the integers that are either divisible by n1 or n2 up till x, how will I do that? So let's proceed ahead and let's try to understand it. So what do I do in such case? I go and find out the LCM of n1 and n2. Why I am finding out the LCM? Because I am interested in finding out those factors which are common in both of them and that would be of the factor of the LCM of N1 and N2. So let's try to depict a mathematical representation of this. We have the first series, we have the second series, we add these two up and since there were few elements that will get added twice, here in this case those would be 12 and 24, what do we do? We go and identify how many factors of LCM exist up till x in the complete series and that would be equal to uh, 2 because 20 uh, x is given to us as 25 and lcm of x1 and x2 is given to us as 12 so you can compute the lcm by yourself lcm of n1 and n2 3 and 4 is 12 therefore i have written 12 there so what is the updated result after this mathematical computation the uh, du duplication gets cancelled and we have an updated series starting from 3 up till 24 wherein no element is duplicated and we will use this information to actually build our core algorithm so let's even go a level deeper 
how do we identify lcm there is a unique property of lcm that n1 into n2 is equal to lcm of n1 n2 into gcd of n1 and n2 so if we are able to identify the gcd of two elements we can go and we can easily identify the lcm of two elements and the formula becomes L lcm of n1 and n2 becomes n1 into n2 divided by gcd of n1 and n2 so i we learned this in uh, 9th or 10th standard i hope you guys also remember it now we will be applying binary search template to actually come up with the approach and why i am saying binary search template because in the input question it was specified that the numbers lie in the range of 1 to 10 raised to power 9 the limit is quite high and the basic uh, approach or the naive approach of iterating over all the n elements will not work so we have to come up with the binary search template approach and uh, why i am saying this there are a few hints that are specified in the question which pointed out that binary search can be applied we will create the series in increasing order fashion that means it's in ascending sorted order therefore we are free to apply this binary search algo had it been the case where the sorting order would not have been there this approach would not have worked so even before jumping onto the details how are we going to apply binary search i hope you guys are well versed with the binary search template that we have talked about in the past plenty of times there is a low value there is a high value while low is less than high we uh, we calculate the middle element and we pass this middle element to a condition which tells us whether we want to move the low pointer to mid plus 1 or high pointer to mid this is a generic template that is used everywhere across binary search questions and the the problem reduces to appropriately identifying this condition rest remains the same and now let's talk about this this specific condition that we are going to generate let's take an example and here the value of n that is given to us is 3 the value of n1 is given to us as 4 the value of n2 is given to us as 6 what is the gcd of these two elements the gcd is 2 4 of 6 and 4 the lcm turns out to be 12 also how can we comment on the lower limit of the binary series the lower limit of the binary series would be equal to minimum of n1 and n2 which is absolutely in sync we have the lower limit as 4 the lower value of 4 and 6 is 4 and let's draw the series for a second the elements would be something like this 4 6 8 12 16 20 and so on in the future as well what would be the higher value for this series the higher limit that we need to take over here uh, it would be nothing but n into minimum of n1 comma n2 just think about this equation for once and you will understand that uh, the upper limit will will not go beyond n into minimum of n1 comma n2 and that makes up our high value equal to uh, 3 into minimum of 4 comma 6 which is 4 that turns out to be 12 therefore we have taken low as 4 right as 12 what is the middle element uh, using these two values 4 plus 12 is 16 16 by 2 is 8 that means the value of x comes out to be 8 we apply the formula that we talked about over here x by n1 plus x by n2 minus x by lcm of n1 x1 and x2 so let's do that 8 by 4 is 2 8 by 6 is 1 8 by 12 is 0 so the factor count comes out to be equal to 3 and here let's go back to the template uh, if the factor count is less than n it's not less than n what do we do in such case we update the mid to high to mid that means the high gets updated to mid that means right gets updated to 8 so this gets updated to 8 and let's proceed the iteration here i have updated the right to 8 and my low points over here my high points over here so let's continue the process and let's find out the middle element middle element turns out to be equal to 4 plus 8 by 2 which is nothing but 6 6 by let's calculate the factor count 6 by 4 turns out to be 1 6 by 6 turns out to be 1 and 6 by 12 turns out to be 0 so 1 plus 1 minus 0 turns out to be 2 the factor count turns out to be true and the factor count is 2 here uh, the value of n is 3 here so 2 is less than th uh, 3 that means we are gonna update our low to mid plus 1 so low gets updated to mid plus 1 which is nothing but uh, 7 6 plus 1 turns out to be 7 and low gets updated to 7 high gets updated to 8 high is still at 8 let's proceed for the third iteration 
here we are updated low to 7 and high remains at 8 this is nothing ignore this 3 into 4 mid turns out to be 15 by 2 which is nothing but 7 let's apply the formula 7 by 4 gives us 1 7 by 6 gives us 1 and 7 by 12 gives us 0 so the factor count still remains equal to 2 let's use the same binary template 2 is still less than 3 what we will do we'll update low to mid plus 1 low will be updated to 7 plus 1 which is 8 what is the value of high the value of high is 8 8 turns out to be equal to 8 we abort the process and we get our answer so the answer should have been 8 and we got 8 as the answer this is the crux of the problem and now let's quickly talk about the coding section where i'll explain this algo in the same way as i have talked throughout the presentation so let's move on and today i will not take credit of this question uh, one among you guys have submitted the solution over here sham and i would like to thank him i'll be explaining his solution so and this solution is in c plus uh, plus you can also go ahead and submit the solution in java i'll be highly thankful for you doing it so here what we have done we have taken the lower limit minimum of a comma b higher limit is equal to uh, n into whatever minimum value we have identified over here we go and identify the lcm how uh, using the formula that we talked about in the paper t a into b divided by gcd of a comma b uh, here he has specified a helper method for calculating the gcd let's go ahead and take two variables mid and half factor while left is lower than right typical template of writing the binary search go and identify the middle element calculate the factors using the formula that we talked about mid by a plus mid by b minus mid by lcm and if factor is less than n we go and update low to mid plus one otherwise we update high to mid in the end we simply return uh, low modulus mod pretty simple and straightforward let's submit this up accept it this brings me to the end of today's challenge i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye